Okay, so basically he's uh, channeling Eyes of the Beast with his cat, and he's pulling the entire dungeon as a solo hunter. And then the pet the pet dies. It's kind of messed up, Peta bro. And then he's just like kind of going back and oh my gosh, bro, hunters are better than mages at this. Cause you can pull with the pets. It's such a clean pull. You don't even have to like think about like getting slowed or like blinking or blocking or anything. He's just in the perfect position. Like it's 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 a perfect pull every time. It's unlimited mana too. Oh my gosh! Explosive trap and explosive shot. Just a oh, it's just perfect. It's perfect. It's not even close. Wait, how is he? Yeah, how is he literally a hundred percent mana? How is this working? Abusing pathing mechanics isn't special or OP. Well, I mean, everyone's abusing the same path. Mages are doing it. Like, like everyone's doing the spell cleave thing, right? But hunters are even better. It's aspect of the Viper. Interesting. So it's minus 10% damage, but you get like insane mana regen. I want to look at this. Aspect of the Viper Sod. Not Wad. Sod. What is this? The hunter takes on the aspect of the viper, causing your range of melee attacks to reach and mana, but reducing your damage done by 10. In addition, you gain 10% maximum mana every... Oh my gosh! That is so good! I actually really like this, because it gives hunters the ability to actually play the game, and not just be AFK at zero mana at the loss of some damage. It's actually a really cool talent. Okay, so then he changes to Chimera Shot... Uh... He kills the sorcerer solo because, you know, the sorcerer is going to kind of mess up the, the pull. Yeah, okay, fine. You know, whatever. Summons the pet. Forgot to put explosive shot on back back on. So obviously this pull would have been a lot better with explosive shot. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so he opens up this. Uh, he heals the pet up. And then uh, eyes of the beast. And pulls everything. Including the big boy boss okay hamstring or whatever the slow wing clip on that mob bandages up jumps off goes back to the spot and once he's at the spot it's pretty much gg no re curious how he doesn't get stunned by um the boss because the boss stuns i guess he's just not even letting the boss get remotely close and since he has the frost trap down the entire time the mobs are just perma slow okay they got really close there if they get close and the boss stuns him he's just dead um, obviously he's just not letting him be close. Now they're tightly packed. Now it's Eugene no Ori. Wow. And he's swapping between aspects. So he's aspect of the Hawk when he's low mana. Um, right now he swaps to Viper. And then he's probably going to go back full mana with Viper. Oh my gosh, that's so OP. Now he's full mana. He can, he can like go back Hawk if he wants. Yeah, he goes back Hawk now. And Wow. Bro, hunters are uh, better mages. Like, bro, I was dueling hunters yesterday too, and they're just one-shotting, dude. They pop BM on their pet, and they run up. You, you can't stop the pet. The pet is chunking you down. You can't CC it, Nova it, nothing. And then the pet just kills you, and if it doesn't, then the, the hunter runs up and slaps you once, and you're dead. It's, like, it's so insane. They're better mages, and they're better warriors. Are hunters better priests? Probably not. I guess they can't heal. Damn. Well, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Very nice. A very poor sketch of this Arbarian. Okay, yeah, I saw this uh, yesterday. So, Tiny Violin, Griefer of Hardcore Elite Band. Um, yeah. This World of Warcraft account has been closed and is no long longer available. I'm trying to get like a bigger screenshot of this. Yeah, it's no longer available for use. Please go to uh, WoW for more info. Having said that, people uh, clarified and told me that this was the ban on his alt account that he bought to grief. Apparently, this is not his main account. This is just the account he purchased to grief Hardcore Elite. He's back at it. Right, exactly. Okay, so I forgot to do this yesterday. YouTube, I don't know. How do I do this? YouTube.com. I have like a watch later list or something here. Okay, so I wanted to watch. I, I saw some of these that over the weekend that I wanted to watch. Oh, this is one of the ones I just watched, I think. 
I wanted to watch these videos, but I didn't watch them because I decided to keep them for later and watch them on stream. Uh, perfect. So the first one was Aspen finds out how much money his unmonetized alt channel cost Twitch. So if you guys didn't know, it costs money for Twitch to host a stream. And the more viewers you have, the more money it costs. So people all the time are like, how is Twitch losing money? Well, watch this video and find out. So if you look at this, let's go in here. We're going to say that I've streamed for about eight hours right okay. now. We're going to say that we have 9,000 viewers right now. We're going to put the average at about 8,000. Okay. If every one of you is watching at 1080p and you have been the whole time, it costs Twitch $4,360 to run this stream. That's how that works. That is why Twitch is losing money. This is the reason. Per year? No, per this per stream. stream. That's yeah. this stream, not per month, this singular stream. At like we, we did these calculations like a year or two ago because there was like an article that came out and someone was like, how is Twitch losing money? And, and people were like, well hosting live streamers ends up costing a lot of money even if you're amazon and you get the aws for cost it's still very very expensive at eight hours of stream yeah dan must fucking hate me where is this okay low i'm shocked that asmongold is shocked like this is i feel like we've known about this for years latency you know? streaming one channel standard hd and then yeah. we're gonna do a six hour stream for twenty thousand viewers Oof. <laughs> eight thousand <000 laughs> bucks eight thousand bucks for as one Ooh. stream oh geez and i usually stream every single day but let's assume that i miss 20 days okay so it's eight thousand times 300 instead of 65 it'll be 45 three like three million bucks a year three million bucks a year for asman's alt stream and he doesn't play any ads <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't play any ads so he's like not making twitch any money back right or and he doesn't have a sub button so he's not making like any money back because I, so Dan Clancy confronted me about this situation. Uh, we were having dinner together and I asked him, am I costing you hundreds of thousands or am I costing you millions of dollars? And he did not answer. So and millions. now I can see why. The root of the problem is if you're taking hair tips from Asmund Gold, <laughs> I think we've gotten to the root of the problem. Right? <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, so yeah, it, it, cost, it cost Twitch a lot a lot a lot to host large streamers okay if you guys didn't know that uh now you do okay that's that's why they're like losing money um i don't know if they're like completely super super in the red but that's why they're not making a lot of money because it costs them a lot to host a streamer um obviously they're making money back from subs and ads but if you're not playing subs or ads they're making no money like if every streamer did what asman did twitch would be dead in a few months or something yeah okay imagine if they didn't get the aws discount yeah so they own aws so they probably get it at cost so their, their, their cost efficiency is like pretty nice right to say the least okay all right so uh, i also wanted to see this so multiple people last week asked me if i was going to play last epoch I have no idea what Last Epoch is, but I was browsing YouTube and this video came up, 600,000 views in three days. So it turns out a lot of people are interested about Last Epoch. I have no clue what it is. This is the official technical trailer, uh, which technically means, well, I don't know. Let's take a look. Looks like PoE range or something. Itera is dying, traveler. Looks like Path of Exile. The consumes our world and drags us deeper into madness. We are all out of time. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. What, so what were these classes? We are all out of time. Mage, Rogue, Primalist, Acolyte, Sentinel. But from that, you also have Sorcerer, Spell... Did they make this hard to read on purpose? Spell bot, Blade, Rune Master, Falconer, Marksman, Blade Dancer, Druid, Beastmaster, Shaman, Warlock. I can't really see that one. Lich, Paladin, Void Knight, and Forge Guard. That what, what's that one? Shaman, uh, something, something, man. This one's Shaman. I, I can't, I can't really see that. that one. Is. I don't question your resolve. Okay. 
I'll go through all of them anyway. I'll make a little. Nor your vocation. Hey, that's me, baby. Mail kind of dope, I guess. Nice shatter combo. You've shown us strength and courage. Peace master. Sure is. Okay. Deadly precision. And unfathomed power. But even you must now see. Itera's end is upon us. You have to go back, back. attempt at the arena requires a key why do you need a key dying or leaving through a portal fails the attempt i wonder if this is like pvp or pve arenas like is it like a mythic plus key or something or is this like pvp a oh, soft core <laughs> i like how it's like soft core ver <laughs> bro it says soft core and hardcore i like how they say it how it is man you're either soft or you're hard man pick one or the other like they just they're just saying it. it's not normal and hardcore you're either soft core or hardcore that's perfect bro oh i love that um wait i wanted to see that leaderboard okay so rank wave level so it looks like pve and you're fighting up a tower arenas are probably like tower of like torghast or something how high you can actually get or how deep you can go in and then you're ranked against other players based on how many waves you can clear um okay Itera's past holds many secrets find them use them break them find a way to save our world before we are all out of time. Wait, that's tomorrow. Wait, that that's tomorrow, February 21st. Wait, are you guys playing this tomorrow? Holy crap, I thought this was out in like a few months or something. So, so my biggest question is, how are they going to compete with uh, Path of Exile and uh, Diablo 4? I mean, I think they could maybe you compete with Diablo 4, but like, yes, 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 no, 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 yes, no, no, yes, no. Like, okay, I played uh, D3 on launch. I had a lot of fun. I actually skipped D4 altogether, and maybe that was a good thing. I played a good amount of PoE on launch, and then kind of here and there. I thought they were good games. Uh, overall, the top-down style for me kind of gets boring and less immersive than a... Um, over the shoulder like a third person cam or even first person so I, I generally I feel like kind of stay away from top down style games click to move top down and just me personally I just feel less immersed in them I'm not saying they're bad games necessarily um, I don't know I guess I'm curious what is going to make this really unique and stand out from D4 and PoE right because it seems like a reskin of it and it, to be honest it seems like a pretty good reskin of it I just don't know like are people really going to prefer it you know, uh, PoE two is WASD. Okay, that's exciting. Um, eleventh hour games. What other games have eleventh hour games made? Does anyone know? Like who? Like what? What studio is this? None. Not this is their first game. Whew! Okay, we'll see, man. We'll see. It comes out tomorrow. Um, it's on Steam right now, huh? How much is it? I'm curious, like, how many people are going to be playing this? It's a small team of ARPG fans. Wow, this is little, that's pretty nerve-wracking for them then, huh? It's, it's 35 bucks. Well, it's, like, humbly priced, I guess. It's not, uh... It's not, like, a $70 game, I guess, so that's good. 